Hi everyone, welcome back to another Match Day vlog. And for today, we are in the city of Opole, which is one hour, 50 minutes uh, northwest from Katowice by train. And we are here for the match between Oder Opole and Arca Gdynia. I have like two hours till kickoff. Uh, fun fact, this is my first time ever being in Opole. I always pass through, I never stopped here. So let's go explore a bit. <laughs> So the reason we are going to Odrapole today is because there's not much time left till they're moving into their new stadium. They will stop playing in Oleska, their old stadium, uh, during the winter break. And after the winter break, they will move to their new stadium. Uh, it's in the northwest of the city, which can hold almost 12,000 people, which is definitely an upgrade because currently in Oleska Stadium, they can almost get 4,000, I think. Because I'm not going to Bjarstok today, I had the time to go to today's match and witness their stadium for the last time, I guess. However, this morning I heard from one of you subscribers that there's no organized trip from Arca side. So there will be only people that came by own transport, which massively distracts all the way from Gdynia to Apollo. But both teams go into this match with different goals. For Arca, they're pushing for the promotion spots. Uh, and they want to make it five wins in a row. And also Chubak is very close becoming the top scorer all time from Arca. I think he only needs five goals. So let's see if he can add some today. For Odropole, it's a completely different story. After almost getting in the playoffs last year, uh, they had to rebuild the squad and that didn't really work out. They are trying to get out of the relegation zone. So there's a lot of the line today. Odra trying to get out of the relegation zone and Arca trying to stay close to Termalika and Visa Porchk. Sausage was okay. Uh, it was 25 zlotys. I do like a fire grilled sausage, so I'm gonna give that a couple of bonus points. But there was like spacing between the meat and casing, and on one side it was like kind of caramelized and was difficult to cut through, so the knife broke. But I would give it a 6.7. <laughs>
It's the Chewbacca show. Uh, I think two, three more goals and he's all-time top scorer of Arca, which, seeing his defense, is pretty possible in the second half. There's a group of Arca fans, like around 120 on the main stand, but just out of view for me. But the fans are understandably not happy on the main stand. Anyways, I've seen enough of Skobash football to know where this is going. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the second half. <laughs> Stadium. It sounded like uh, the players were getting an earful from the ultras and understandable it was a very poor performance. I hope the next time I'm back in the new stadium it will be a much better situation. Chubak didn't manage to get all-time top scorer but that definitely will happen in the next games because he's too good for the first league and Ark is now with five wins on a row. Uh, it looks like a free horse race on the top but yeah at least this weekend plenty of goals. Next weekend is the international break, uh, but I'll try to maybe grab a lower league game again. I was planning to go to Wichas for Krakow against Polonia Bitom, but they moved that game to a Wednesday at one o'clock. I'm heading back to Katowice now. Thanks for joining me this weekend. As always, please like and subscribe. You know what to do. And we'll see each other the next time. Bye-bye.